yes sir. Today we're gonna talk about how to get rid of them love handles, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get straight to it. What's up, it's your boy Chief. Listen, today I'm gonna give you guys nine tips for how to get rid of those love handles. That stubborn belly fat, we're gonna get straight to it. Tip number one, tip number one, man, movement. You guys need to move throughout the day. That's tip number one. You guys are not moving enough. The pandemic really exposed a lot of that. You know, when we were sitting, a lot of people were gaining 15, 20, 30 pounds. I myself have a nine to five job, so I get it. I invested in a walking treadmill, put it right underneath my desk, and I walk 10,000 steps a day. That not only helped me lose my love handles, but it helped me get leaner in my arms and my thighs. So I really recommend you guys walking, walking, walking. It'll do it. Simple things like when you go to the grocery store, don't park directly in front of the grocery store. Park a couple parking spots away so you can walk into the grocery store and walk out, go for a walk during the day. A lot of you guys just are not walking enough. Your lifestyle is too sedentary. If you really want to lose these love handles, you have to move throughout the day. Simple things, you can do another thing like dancing. For those of you who like to dance, you know, on your lunch break, you know, whatever the case may be when you're at home, after work, you know, throw on a dance DVD or check out one of my 10 minute, 20 minute workouts. And just, you know, do that, whatever you find fun, but you have to move around. If you move around, you'll really start burning a lot of those calories. Just by walking 10,000 steps each and every day, that'll help you lose one to two pounds. So that's tip number one, is making sure you're moving all throughout the day. Movement is key. Tip number two, tip number two, man, you guys need to stress less. A lot of you guys are stressed out. And when you're stressed out, that's gonna cause for you to wanna sit down and you know, set, be sedentary, drink, you know, just not move, just be very depressed. Try to you know, locate your stressors in life and try to combat that. Something I do that helps out a lot is I meditate and I must do a better job with meditating more. I don't do good enough with it, but you know, we really, you know, I don't like to be cliche, but people always say, you know, to work out for these reasons to help get rid of all the stress because it releases endorphins. You guys are stressed and that's what's causing a lot of this weight gain in your side obliques or even your stomach or your face, different things like that. So really, you know, find those things that are causing you stress, you know, whether it's your relationship, whether it's work stress, and identify ways to combat that. If you can eliminate some of the stress in your life, that'll really help with your weight loss. So I really emphasize stress less and find those things that are stressing in your life and find ways to combat that. You know, whether that, you know, if your job is stressful, you know, having that time where, okay, Monday through Friday, I'm gonna, you know, focus on my work, and then Saturday, Sunday, I'm gonna have some downtime and try to, you know, turn the computer off or, you know, separate myself from work. I know a lot of us are working from home, so, you know, finding ways, you know, making sure your office isn't also in your room. So just, you know, separating everything, just, you know, those stressors in your life, you know, because a lot of times when we're stressed, you know, we're emotional eating, I know so many people that come up to me and say, hey, you know what, I put on so much weight just from like emotional eating and now I'm gaining weight in my love handles. So I really recommend that you guys locate what the stresses in your life are and find ways to combat that, whether that's yoga, whether that's working out, anything like that, or whether that's a fun activity to do after work daily or over the weekends, that'll really help with your weight loss journey. Tip number three, tip number three, tip number three. Lift weights. A lot of you guys are not lifting weights. You're going in the gym, doing these like side obliques. That's not doing anything for you. You need to be in the gym squatting, doing deadlifts, bench. You know, stop doing so much cardio and really lift weights. The more muscle you build, the more it's gonna help you burn fat. A lot of you guys don't know this, but you don't really burn. You don't burn fat in the gym. You burn a lot of your fat when you're at rest. So you typically, the more muscle you have, the more fat that you burn from your resting metabolic rate. So it's very important to be in the gym lifting heavy weights to increase how your muscle mass that's gonna help you burn more calories and be more efficient in burning. Like my, I've got my body to a point now where my body's constantly burning so many calories because I've built up so much muscle on it, but I wasn't always like this. And I had to realize like I saw the benefits of you know doing squats, doing deadlifts, and trust me, to this day I don't like to do squats and deadlifts, but I understand how important it is for me, so that's why I do it. So a lot of you guys will see changes if you guys go in the gym and really lift weights. And don't go in the gym playing around. Really push, really push yourself. You know, go in the gym, put the phone down. Cause I know, I've, I've been there, I'm this, I've been there. Everything that you guys have done, I've done. I've, I'm in the gym on my phone, playing around, you know, texting, lifting weights. And you know, I'm in there for an hour. Well, that's an hour, so I'm good. No, that's not what's gonna get you better. 
go in the gym, put the phone down, put your headphones in, lock in, lift heavy weights, squat, get your reps in, short recovery time, high intensity, get that workout in, man, really push yourself. So that's tip number three, lift weights. Tip number four, tip number four, listen, try high intensity interval training. You guys need hit workouts. That's what really burns up a lot of calories, especially for my working professionals. You know, you don't have a lot of time. I'm someone I don't have a lot of time. I might have 45 minutes in the day to get a workout in, 30 minutes sometimes. So I'm, when I'm in the gym, I'm going crazy for those 30 to 45 minutes, constant, constant tension, short recovery time. So I really recommend, I know, I know a lot of us are busy, so try hit workouts. They're really simple. People think that you have to be in the gym for two hours. You do not have to be in the gym to, for two hours to lose, lose your love handles. Just start doing high intensity, short 30 to 45 minute workouts. They have a bunch of different options. I live in the Washington DC area, so we have options like Orange Theory. That's a gym that I've visited, I've checked out. There's also F45. But just, you know, Google, look in your city, wherever you're located. If you're in like Washington DC, Maryland, Virginia, great. You can try those options that I just recommended. But if you're not, look in your city, check out high interval training facilities near you that will really push you. And you'll see so many people get results. Some people have lost 20, 30, 40 pounds in there, especially when you have been sedentary for whatever reason, whether that's from the pandemic or just a busy work life. So I definitely recommend tip number four, hit classes. Check tip them out. Five, tip number five, tip number five. I know I'm gonna get a lot of flat for this, but increase your protein intake. A lot of you guys are going to Chipotle and you say, hey, can I get a bowl? And you're getting rice on top of rice on top of rice. And then they give you a little thing of protein. That's not a little scoop service out of the protein. That's not sufficient. Guys, go to Chipotle. I don't eat Chipotle, but I'm just saying, if you do go to Chipotle, I used to eat Chipotle like once a week all the time. But now I've kind of like gotten away from Chipotle because I've, I've just had it so much that I no longer like it. That's how I am, I'll go eat something and I'll eat it constantly so much and after a while I don't want to eat it anymore. But if you guys are going to places like Chipotle, go there, get a scoop of rice and get extra protein. It's more, you need the protein more than the carbs. The protein is how you're gonna build muscle. And when you build muscle, that's gonna help you really stay lean. So I recommend cutting down on all of the carbs and the sauces. The sauces are fats. Cut down on all those sauces, all, those, all that rice. Just cut down the carbs and fats and really focus on just you know, increasing your protein intake. You know, one gram of protein per body weight or even a little bit more than that make sure you're getting your protein in and that's what's really going to help you get rid of those love handles and increase your muscle tone and your muscle definition that is tip number five all right listen so if you guys have been following my page you know i've been nice i've been you know really trying to push a lot of information out a lot of healthy habits and if you have been following my page make sure you subscribe but you know i'm gonna really start pushing you guys and really challenging you guys to hit these goals because that's what it's all about is influencing you guys to reach you know, your best fitness level ever and your best physique. So for tip number six, tip number six is something that I see so many people struggle with and that is mindful eating. Guys, please be mindful of your portion size. You must control your portion size. Everything is kind of off because our, our meals are so big now that we think that a lot of, like we think that a lot of our portions are okay. It's too much. Cut down your portion sizes and listen to your body. A lot of us, I've realized, a lot of us eat and we consume so much, we almost think like we're at a buffet every time we eat. The point of eating a meal is not to feel full and stuffed. If you're feeling full and stuffed, that's, that's too much. That means you overate. Just eat enough to feel satisfied and then cut it. Recently, Thanksgiving passed and everyone's like, oh man, it's Thanksgiving. So you know, they're like, oh, I'm gonna just eat up a storm. You know, this Thanksgiving, you know, I enjoyed, I had everything, I had cake, I had ice cream, I had everything you could think of, you know, drinks, different things like that. Everything you could think of, I had it all, but it was in moderation and it was just so, it was in portion control. A lot of you guys are just overeating. Like eat everything you wanna eat, but just control it. It doesn't, you don't need three Big Macs, okay? You know, you wanna, you wanna have a sandwich, you know, get your workouts in, eat healthy on a consistent basis, and then Saturday comes, you wanna have a sandwich, that's fine. But a lot of you guys are consuming 3,000, 4,000 calories, and that's throwing two pounds on you every week. And then you're wondering how you gain 20 pounds, especially from drinking things like beer, 
or, or alcohol with those hidden calories in it. And then you add that in with some pancakes and syrup. So please guys, be mindful of your eating and be mindful of your portion. Tip number seven, tip number seven. Hey, look, I'm gonna put this in a lot more of my videos. I may just do an entire video on this tip right here. And that's get some sleep, guys. Sleep is so important. It's something that I know we all struggle with. You know, there's only so many hours in a day, but we need to be hitting seven to eight hours of sleep each and every day. When we're not sleeping, you know, we're up late at night snacking. I know a lot of you, oh, I love to stay up at night, you know, watching TV. And you know, that's great, but try to get to bed a little bit earlier so you get your seven to eight hours of sleep because when we're staying up late, we're making poor decisions with food, we're eating ice cream, we're eating this, we're eating that. So please get your sleep. Another thing is when you don't sleep enough, your body, you know, naturally doesn't produce the best hormones to help you make good, healthy decisions. So you actually crave, you know, worse food or food that's processed food or sugary food that's not good for you simply because you didn't get enough sleep so now your hormone levels are a little bit off so now you're craving that food more so i cannot stress this should have maybe been tip number one to you know sleep getting sleep is so important seven eight hours each and every day so that's tip number seven tip number eight this is really simple I, you know a lot of people think that it's self-explanatory but hey i'm gonna announce it and i'm gonna give you guys the gems cut back on the beer okay there's a lot of hidden calories on the beer, the alcohol, just cut back on it. I'm not saying get rid of it forever, but I'm just saying cut back on it, save it for the weekends, save it for the weekdays. Like you guys can enjoy it, but those, those margaritas with the sugars, the fruit, you know, the syrup, it's, it's just too much and it's hard for your body to break that stuff down. So if you really wanna lose your love handles, cut back on some of that alcohol and that beer. And listen, when you go on vacation, you can enjoy it. You know, wherever you wanna go, whatever your favorite vacation spot is, Colombia, London, I, I, I don't know, you name it, some island, Puerto Rico, Mexico, you guys can go have your little cocktail over there. But for now, while you're trying to lose these love handles, let's cut back on it for a little bit and then we'll get back to that, okay? Everything, I'm not saying, you know, we can't enjoy, because I like to enjoy, you'll see, I'll include B-roll over this video of me enjoying life and me taking trips, you know, but it's, it's about a balance, okay? It's about a good, you have to find a good balance. You can't be too much to the left, you can't be too much to the right. It's about me and somewhere in the middle. If you really wanna attain those goals, and it's about focusing on what the mission is, crushing the mission and then going to enjoy so listen guys tip number eight is cut down on some of that alcohol and the beer and save it for later on it's always going to be there it's not going there typically for me i don't really consume those type of things unless i'm out with friends that's when i enjoy it with company but you know when i'm monday through friday monday through thursday i'm disciplined going through the week working out getting the best shape of my life so you know that's tip number eight Last but not least, tip number nine, make sure you guys are filling up on fiber. I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how you guys go the whole day and you don't use the bathroom and you think that's normal. That's not normal, okay? You guys need to be eating, you know, beans, nuts, veggies, you know, um, fruit. Like, you guys need to be consuming that because you should be using the bathroom at least twice a day. First, when, first thing in the morning and before you go to sleep. So if you're not using the bathroom in the morning and before you go to bed, you know, that means, you're, that means you don't have enough fiber. So really load up on those veggies. And how do you think, how are you gonna remove all the fat on your body if you're not using the bathroom? So that should tell you, that should be a dead giveaway that you need to load up on more fiber, whether that's from, you know, beans, vegetables, or fruit. And that's tip number nine. Let's get it. Listen guys, so those are the nine tips to help get rid of love handles and get that fat off your body. Listen, subscribe to the page. I'ma get you right, okay? Like, I'ma give you everything I know each and every week. Keep providing you with great information that's gonna to continue to transform you and get you to the best physique ever. You see where I'm at. I'm continuing to get there. I'm continuing to level it up. And I wanna level you guys up. And it's a process. And I wanna grow with you guys. I want you guys to join the Content Performance family. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button, share it with your friends. Cause I'm, you know, people are coming to me like, oh man, you know, I shared this with my friend, with my partner and it was very insightful. So listen, take these videos, share it with your friend, share it with your neighbor, share it with your homie, wh whatever the case may be. Listen, the goal is to get everyone fit. Like, we're gonna solve this problem. I know we have a big obesity problem in America. Listen, follow on this channel. We're gonna fix that, we're gonna get it right. So don't forget to subscribe, content performance, we out.
No watch, no diamonds, no watch, good timing 